here in Hobby Town in Kennesaw, Georgia, and Aaron just got a Creighton. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this. Yeah, there we go. Look, he's, he got that Kool-Aid smile going on too. He's trying to hold it in though. So, all right, so normally you get your tools in here. Um, Armor includes this with all the kits. You also have the high speed pinion gear and stuff in there as well. I know he's looking at that radio because he saw the one from my outcast, so he was kind of curious about it. So what are your thoughts on that radio real quick? So far so good. It feels all right and we'll see when you run it. All right, so we'll see when we run it. That's that's the <laughs> that's where we'll leave it at. Hopefully, uh, Spectrum, you guys are listening and you'll do some upgrades to your radios or updates to it because we do like the way the tactic radio looked. So hopefully in the next version they'll release something better. But anyway, let's get to the meat of this. Look at it, two of them taking it out. So he did get the blue and black Creighton. I haven't seen this up close yet, but we're we're kind of cracking, so we're um, just going about and buying everything. <sighs> Got a little smell of a new car. So I'm gonna let him do some talking to somebody other than me. Y'all don't want to hear me all the time, do you? <laughs> So the body look, I mean the body looks good. I don't know what you guys think about it. Yeah, the blue looks yeah, nice. Yeah, I, like, I really like the blue and the design that they Ooh. did with the graphics and all. Feel the meats, man. Ooh. And then some new features on the uh, the new crate news. They've added the new chassis brace from front to rear, kind of give the chassis a little more stability. And I have heard talks if you have one of the older Creightons, they're going to be coming out with these pieces to add to yours as well. Yep. So that'll be that'll be a new thing coming in the future, so you can make yours a little more durable and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you got your, you know, shocks and all that you can adjust down for tunability and stuff like that. Um, they've went to their new IC5 connector. So it's basically a different version of an EC5 that you can plug, you know, an EC5 into the IC5 if you don't have IC5 stuff. So that's the new proprietary plug that they're going to be going with on all their stuff from here on out. It's one of the newer options that they, they've come up with. Um... Adjustable motor mount. Yes, you've got the new adjustable motor mount down in here now that they've added, which is another nice feature so you can have more options to run higher gearing and stuff like that. So, oh, look, he got it. What'd you get the other day? <laughs> What'd you get? Come on. You on camera yeah, now? He, he, got, he, got, <laughs> he, got a, he got a Typhon and he got you know, and an Outcast. And an Outcast. Yeah. So, yep. And I guess what I got sitting there. What's that over there? What, what's, <laughs> that? what's that? What's that? Yeah, we'll, the, we'll, the new version of Typhon. We'll, we'll do that in just a minute. Yes. <laughs> so. And then this has the obviously the, the adjustable uh, uh, things to set up for the battery so you can you know run two batteries stacked in here. Yeah. So other things they've improved, of course, they redid the body on it as well. We kind of like that bite. Only that body, man, because I might have to walk out with that on my on my car. <laughs> and the tires, they actually look more aggressive than what I thought. So you're going to get a lot of traction with those. They did improve a couple of things on the steering as well. I kind of went on that when I did my unboxing on the Outcast as well. But we want to take a look at this. And, of course, they improved a couple of things in here where um, your turnbuckles won't pop out. And there's also like insider, you can't really see it on these uh, joints in here. There's actually rubber seals to keep those pivot balls from popping out as well. You can't really see it here, but at one point in time, I'm going to do it a, an unboxing because it's actually inside there right, yeah. um, with that. But I'll do a more in depth of all these cars. If I do one, I basically do them all except for the Titan. Um, but other than that, we're going to get this running today. We did want to take a quick look at this bad boy and get somebody's thoughts. Because everybody's just kind of over here smiling and, and looking. So we are going to run this today, and I'll get some running videos of this. Just some test runs and stuff. And then we'll um, look at the Typhon and stuff up close as well. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.